Charles Pellegrin has more. It all started with a, a series of videos that was uh, posted by uh, Dolce & Gabbana on their Instagram and then on uh, the Chinese version of Twitter called Weibo. And those videos basically present an Asian lady dressed in uh, traditionally, uh, stereotypically Orientalist garb, trying to eat traditionally Italian foods with chopsticks. Uh, and uh, if that wasn't offensive enough, uh, then at some point it turns into something quite crass when uh, a male voice comes as a, a nar narrator and uh, asks if a cannelloni that the model is trying to eat with her chopsticks is too huge. And that was obviously enough to set the entire Chinese internet ablaze. Uh, it was the top uh, trending story on Weibo on Wednesday afternoon, and there were hundreds of millions of comments underneath these videos on Weibo. Uh, people calling it a uh, crass condescending of a uh, of Chinese culture that's uh, that has a millennial uh, tradition um, so it really uh, um, provoked the ire of the Chinese consumer and this uh, this got worse with the apology from Dolce Gabbana with people saying that, that the, the apology is uh, not enough and they are uh, the people asking uh, Dolce Gabbana to, to leave the country that, that they don't want their brand they don't want uh, the 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 clothing here in China, and this led to, uh, obviously, as you explained, uh, influencers and celebrities boycotting the brand as well, and uh, the Dolce & Gabbana was supposed to have a fashion show this Thursday evening, and uh, they had to cancel it uh, to, to this evening in Shanghai. Dolce & Gabbana has uh, stores in about 25 cities, uh, this is according to their website in China, and uh, the uh, Chinese uh, consumer market for luxury goods is, uh, I think, was worth about 20, 72 billion dollars last year in spending, uh, and uh, other figures have it as uh, uh, Chinese consumers represent about a third of all luxury spending in the world. So it's a huge market, and Dolce Gabbana has to, uh, will probably have to, will probably pay for their mistake here.